to sew everything together. There's little sections that get a little bit sedate, which means yield, and then goes back to tempo. Then animated means, I don't think it means get faster necessarily. Maybe a little bit, a little bit. So we gotta be careful that everything is kind of sewn together as one big unit. So. It's very dreamy, it's dreamy. like there's a little mist or a film over it you know what I mean it's it's not a clear photograph of something it's very blurry so you want to get the blurry feeling into it right away like blurred sound try that just roll and then go to the E flat chord there. This is more. So it's done. Yes. Good. And that's fading into. Hmm. I don't think that's held it long enough. Quarter tie. You could say quarter tie at one and two. One and two out of three and a one. One and two or quarter tie da da da. Quarter tie. That's it. What's so hard is to get. fingers across is not any finger taps but roll good keep rolling roll that's better excellent keep rolling good rolling down you gotta be careful with that because, because it's a diminuendo. Pull way down. You start less and then you open it up because you have a little cadence there when you come. Then open up. Yeah. yeah, because then you have to open it up or there'll be no sound at all. But you always have little cadences across the measure. Exactly right. It comes too soon, that quarter note. Yeah, that quarter note in the bass comes too soon. Quarter budiata. Two and three, it comes on three, right? The three E and F comes after that three. Beat number three is the G flat, the, the quarter note there. And one and a two and three E and a three is this. See if you could roll this more like. Can you let these just roll out? Drag it. Drag these notes. Drag it. 
Drag the fingers. That's better. Peek. More time there. One and a two and three and a one and a two and three and a one. Two and three is the time. Two and three and three and a two and three and a get the idea that you want to it says animated I don't I don't exactly know how fast faster he means but animated maybe and a two. I'm gonna go over to that echo the picture echo and a two and three and a It's rolling more out, longer groups, but I don't think so much faster so it gets beyond your beat too much. Okay? Make sure you don't run away with that too much. which was you gotta remember what you did on that first page I think what happened was um, when you came back to the theme and the distance it got slower and slower which is not time to get slower because what he's doing he's just coming back with the theme at the beginning which is an echo of the past and you keep the same tempo doesn't get slower together more that way. There was one other place, you did really well on that anime where you rolled all the way up to the big chords, but this was excellent because you pushed the chords, push this one too, so you get this sound. because he's sort of like sighing in, in, inside of himself as an echo. It's very sad. Yeah. After you do that rolling, can you go to those big chords right here? Right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, push, push. Drag it. Echo, echo. This is 
where you broaden, right here. Because today. No, tempo. There's only one place to broaden where it says today. So this is not, this is tempo. Now broaden this right here, broaden to you. Tempo again. Right, so we don't want to get too slow before it's time to get it slower at all. Push, push, push. Top note, top note. I think you're getting too many, I think it's, I think it's got too much left hand. That's better voicing. Keep your tempo. It's just softer, it's not slower. This is broaden. Tempo again. Dip again. Go forward. Broaden these two chords. Broaden. Now back to tempo here. This is tempo again. It says mouvement. So you're not going to be slower here. Yeah, see, the whole thing is he does things like pull back, but then go back to mouvement. Pull back, but the movement means like the beginning, that the move, the movement of this. So that keeps coming back. So if you get kind of boxed into getting too slow, too soon, everything after that's too slow, right? So here, this is good. You know what? When I voice this, I voice to the top. So I get more of that with the top voice. Same thing here, top voice. Here. I'm listening for the top voice. See how I voice it? This is so quiet down here. It's this. It's hard to do because you just want to pull out the top voice and have the blend chord under it. Oh, you're pedaling. No. How are you going to pedal that? So, pedal, new pedal, hold, pedal, pedal, new pedal, hold, pedal. You have to have clean pedaling there, I think. Pedal, new pedal, hold pedal, new pedal, new pedal, hold pedal. Now three pedals. Pedal, pedal, and pedal, new pedal. The lower it, this pedal. And the distance, just double P. Make the first um, the first movement where you come back to the theme with all those chords. Put your soft pedal and your um, sustain down, and make bring out the top voice so you don't get too heavy on the bottom voices. You know where I mean? Where you're going? Look how quiet I play the lower voices. Let's bring the top voice out through those chords. Otherwise, it's very heavy. You won't get double P. That's what I want. Now this is piano, but don't make it MF. Make it a little bit more, but still bring out the top voice again. The top voice. That's better. Yeah, bring it down. That's so much better. That's super better, because a double P to a P is like a little bit bigger, but not anything more than that. Yeah, because you're still... Dragging your top voice through that, not so much the heavy chord under it. It says there, not heavy. Son of Dua means not with heaviness. I looked it up. Okay, so we're going back to T. Today, Gordon. Now 
now go to tempo after this. And two and three and one and two. D dog. Now you're getting it. Don't make that too heavy. Not too heavy. This is still double P. Each, each measure a little slower. Oh, it says en retant, which is little by little, murmuring, get slower. A little by little. Little by little. That triplet. Pull away, pull away. That's it. Take your time. A two, a three. A... Now you're getting it. So when you get to that murmuring, you got to make sure it was the same as 14 tempo, which was. Except it's longer. everything will start decaying and we won't have the, the root there. Yeah, I would also on these, I'd go to the top voice. You know, top voice, top voice, top voice, top voice, top voice, top voice, top voice. Definition that you just yeah. Also group the notes. You, you're grouping. Oh, this is one long group. Stretch. Yeah. So you want to think that all of this, the sixteenth and the, and the triplets, are all like one big um, graduation to your top note. It's like leading one long line. That's what I need to say. One long line, one long line, one long line finally made it to the top. So we don't want to, I told you to stretch the last three, but it's still part of the long line. It's better. Exactly. So it doesn't sound like it's cut up. It's still, you know, you're lifting your hand, but you're still going horizontal. again to what you had here. But over here, remember delay, delay that dotted half note, delay that C flat. Then it goes forward. As soft as you can. 
I just let my hands hang and, and just let my arms be buoyant behind my fingers. So I just feel like this in the air, just barely touching these notes. This wispy, this far away somewhere.